Uh, better than fine, but I guess. But the problem is, it's not always like that. It's you know, you're getting tortured in a room for a couple of days and then you cut your head off. So it's. Uh, no, I don't think. Well, probably do that. I'm more taught in previous wars like Afghanistan, Iraq. I'm talking about actually a war between uh, two power or two power. It'd be bad. It don't involve nukes. The whole the whole point of I mean the thing with nukes that is that they probably do. I mean have you heard about uh, Russia might go back to their plan they have like uh, seven days to the River Rhine, which is the amount of time uh, basically what they would do is they it's would impossible. Uh, yeah if, if they go it, it's impossible. Oh yeah. I was gonna say they would never be able to do that. Because Think how much they've struggled Ukraine. with Ukraine, which obviously does have the biggest military in terms of numbers in Europe, but by far nowhere near the most equipped and nowhere near the most trained, and they still haven't even got to Kiev. And it's been, what, two months now? Yeah, but the problem is that they're going to try and get there by March 9th. It's because Russia's military around. tactics are actually retarded. Well, no, it's just they've tried their best to avoid civilian casualties. That's mainly one. They've literally been They're retarded. Oh, oh, no, I agree. But they could have targeted a lot more and ended it a lot quicker. They completely destroyed an entire city full of civilians. Hmm. What city? Mariupol? Yeah. It was mostly deserted. No, there are still fucking thousands of people. Oh, there's people, people there. Trouble, yeah. Of course. But oh. I'm saying you can't you know, land they really wanted to win. Game, yeah, they, also fired on the, they also fired on the evacuation convoy. Yeah, I know, there's, there's oh, incidents. Man. And I'm not I'm not disagreeing with you, but I'm saying that as a whole, them targeting civilians has not been not been the goal. Buka? Say again? Buka? What's so Buka? Massacre? Yeah, no, I can, I, I, I'm not saying there's not isolated instances. Yeah. But it's, it's not really if, they want, if they wanted to wipe out Ukraine... They, they could have done it very easily. You, the Russia, uh, Russia hard, has some of the most, um, I think it has the most by double artillery and self-propelled artillery guns in the world. Yeah, but there's a problem. What's the problem? Russian supply lines are shit. Russia are mm. really shit at supply lines. When you look at, you know, yeah, the, they, uh, uh, well, you know, you, know, you have to have using about, the tanks. <laughs> yeah, I know, but here's, here's the thing. There's a reason why a lot of them are abandoned and have no fuel. A lot of the tires. Sending tanks in by themselves with no support. Yeah, because. Which results in them losing the tank because it's really yeah. easy to take a tank down when it's by itself. The thing. Okay, okay. When you have a look at other armies, for example, the US, right? Their ratio of frontline infantry to support infantry is three support infantry for every one infantry soldier. As in, like, tons of companies. Uh, it, it throughout their entire army. So basically, the frontline soldier is a lot more supported in terms of logistics and everything and information all that. But when you have a look at Russia, it's 1 to 1.25. They have almost as many infantry divisions as they have uh, logistical divisions, which means that their logistics are shit. Historically, they relied a lot on the train networks, which I don't know if I think I don't know if what's going on with the train networks in Ukraine. I can't remember. If they are taking them over. Trying to take them out to bring them into the Donbass region and so forth. Because you know, there were quite a few videos of the um, Russia bringing in tanks on trains. Because that's what they did in World War Two, you know. And they're fucking dumb and they still use tactics that they did from World War Two. I was, I won't be surprised if they put two two nine. Guys, so, oh no. uh, someone's selling two gold bullion. And what did you say again, Cody? Two two seven. Oh, two two seven. That was it. Yeah. Someone's well, literally right. selling gold bullion right now. The wrong one's gone. It'll be. Well, I mean, I don't know how because both of them haven't even been tampered. But seriously, though, I think the odds of Russia invading Europe is as close to zero as uh, zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah I know, but it, it, it can't happen because if it did, then it would actually be World War Three, and people would start using nukes to stop people, and then it just escalates. Cascade into everyone going. I know, but then stop. The thing is, uh, who is it? The ninth of next one? Who is next? Whoa! What the fuck was that? What Did the fuck? Oh. He just shot you. Yep. So now on the recording, they're going to hear us talking about Russia. <laughs>